Okay, so now we're gonna go on to lines, and line a line is a is just another surface. So when we um, work with lines, we're working with just the output. So I'm gonna go. Well, I mean, you end up working with the input, but to begin with, we're working with just the output. So I'm gonna go to I'm gonna change from dual view just to the output, and lines work sort of like a mask in the fact that you have a crosshair, and so I'm gonna create a W here stands for Wes. Okay. And then um, to, to make sure that once I'm done and once I make sure that that's what I want, then I can press enter and now they are set. You can go back and edit them if you would like. So don't feel too bad about going ahead and pressing enter, but that's how you get them to stay. So now we have a couple options. Um, we can leave them flat so they so they don't have rounded edges here, um, or we can round them. I'm gonna leave mine rounded, and then textured line. What that's doing is, if I weren't to texture it, this is what you would see. It's just gonna be white. Um, if I do texture it, then I am going to see my input. So my input will go to the output. It's just gonna link the two. So. Um, first, what you want to do with these lines is you're going to want to just make them with the regular white and then later you can go back in and decide where you want them to be, where you want those lines to be located on the input and I'll show you that in a little bit. Now the cool thing is you can have, you can add animations to these. So right here we have fill up so it's just gonna fill up these lines and you can actually mess with the speed and have them fill up faster um, if you cl click chained and you keep that checked then what it'll do is it will actually tree all of these lines you can tell that which way they're going by I'm gonna slow this way down because it's annoying so you can tell which way they're going when you see these circles. So this circle is where it starts and the circle with the arrow is where it ends. So it's going in this direction and we know that. Um, when you chain them by selecting that, then it'll actually fill up, it'll, it'll, fill, it'll fill up a line at a time in the direction in which they were drawn. And not only do you um, have one option to do animation, but you can actually do three um, animations all together. And you can leave some chained and some um, individual, so you can get some really cool effects. And now we can texture those lines with our input. Um, so now I'm gonna dual view this. And what you can do is you have, you see the line and you can adjust it whatever way you want. So now if I put these mountains to it, can decide how I want these to be positioned, where I want them to go, and there you go. That's how you um, mess with lines. And now we're going to talk about triangle and circle. Uh, <laughs> they're just triangles and circles. So really, they're not they're not anything special. This would be perfect if you have something that's three sided in um, the center of your room. You know, it's normal to just have prisms and pyramids just laying around. So they come in handy when that's the case. Um, and then also the same thing with the circle. Like if you had a circular window or something and you wanted to project onto that window, then you could use the circle surface. And then you can do the mask. So uh, if you have the quad, uh, quad over here, and we we have done this before, but just for um, just to recap, you can create a mask in there. I have masked out a triangle shape um, in the center of the room. If I want to invert that, then I can actually create that triangle shape by doing that. 